Hi, it's time for reviews from Mob.org, and as always, this is Jay. Let's go! Today I will tell you about three different but addictive Android games. One is a physical puzzle called Little Inferno, one the anti-stressful arcade game Beat the Boss 3, and a what-the-hell-is-this runner game called Nyan Cat Lost in Space. I'll begin with the last one as we smoothly pass onwards to the dessert. Nyan Cat Lost in Space is a game based on a certain clip loaded on YouTube in April 2011, which became a popular internet meme. For those who missed the memo that this world finally went crazy, I have to report that the clip totals well over 100 million views and it's still climbing. Oh no, I just watched the video again while making this, now my brain is bleeding on the inside. Must. Finish. Review. Alright, so this half cat, half pop tart flies through space to schizophrenic music while crapping out a rainbow behind it. In Nyan Cat Lost in Space, there are five modes to the game. First, classic. You need to run and jump as much as possible. Don't ask for a reason why, just do it. Second mode is called Universe. Here it's a little better where you collect iridescent, uh, cat batteries and build up your turbo to jump to a new level. Third mode, Nyan Winks, where you have to run away from an angry cat because it's, uh, cat waffle? Alright. Fourth mode, Zen. I guess this mode is perfect for residents of Amsterdam and Colorado, because this game is the same from the first to the tenth minutes played. I couldn't find any differences. Well, and fifth, Nyan. Pretty much the same as the classic mode, only a cat waffle competes with you on the opposite side. In each mode there is a heap of psychedelic everything, from bonuses to help you or obstacles to hinder your kitty pop tart on its spacebound mission to who knows where. Now in turn, beat the boss three. The game is conceived only as a way to relieve stress. It really doesn't apply to anything else. Generally, you create a character that resembles your stupid boss and then beat the crap out of it. I had no such bosses, so I decided to take out my frustrations on my ex. She had the same haircut, the same eyes, and, uh, the same mustache? Hmm, maybe my ex was a man and I never realized it until now. No wonder we didn't get along. Generally speaking, there are a lot of tools of torture which you use to mutilate your boss while he is swearing. As for me, this doesn't really work as an anti-stress game, and if you simply have maniacal anti-social bents and it's hard to cope with them, then by all means play this game and live out those frustrations on a game instead of a real person. And as I promised, a dessert. It's possible that many of you have already played Little Inferno on a PC or Mac. Well, this is dedicated to those who didn't play, so this review is especially for you. This game is from the makers of World of Goo. This unique game is absolutely unlike any other physical puzzle game out there. Little Inferno strikes with its simplicity and genius. You remember when you were little and told, don't play with fire? So now, it's the right time to play. Imagine a gloomy world where the wild cold makes people look for any way to be warmed up. And no, I don't mean sex. In this world, objects and toys only give off heat if you burn them. In the game, there's a fun fireplace called Little Inferno, where everything burned in it gives you heat, joy, and pleasure. In addition, there's a set of interesting riddles linked to combinations of burning objects. By burning certain objects, you can unlock new catalogs of goods, and after ordering them, you burn them too. What for? Because you can look at fire forever! The physics, stylization, and game atmosphere start warming you up right from the get-go, so download and play this game immediately. That's all for today. If you like these, download them, put likes on anything that will accept it. I like waffles and fireplaces and vengeance. Follow our channel and join the group. There's still so many interesting things to find there. This was Jay with reviews from Mob.org. See you!